subscribe to our channel, and help us to spread the word. Catholic Meditation February 2nd, 2024 God becomes a child 8 The light in your arm St. Paul Just as children share in flesh and blood, Jesus also shared in our flesh and blood to destroy through death the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who, all their lives, were held in slavery by their fear of death. A child in the arms of his mother, little Jesus carried by his beautiful mother, your love has become a child so that we can carry him in our arms. Angels accompany us on the way with lit candles. The world is filled with millions of little lights that have their source in the heart of the little one. Darkness trembles and hides. When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, the parents of Jesus brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, Every firstborn male shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Jesus, you are the firstborn of God. Lord, you enter the temple guarded by Joseph and Mary, the angels, the patriarchs, the prophets. All the righteous come out to meet you and bow deeply in your presence, but no one sees them. People come and go, not paying attention to this young couple carrying this charming child in their arms. Lord, may I recognize when you come to me and want to enter the temple of my soul. May I come out to meet you with the candle of love and faith lit, worship you with all my body and heart. S just and devout man, he had been promised by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Prompted by the Spirit, he went to the temple. The Divine Spirit leads me to Jesus. The Holy Spirit will make me find the Lord, so that when I am before Him, I may take Him in my arms, love Him, adore Him, and fill Him with my gratitude and surrender. Simeon took Him in his arms and praised God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace, according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people Israel. Mary, I see you entering the temple with this wonderful and eternal light sleeping in the folds of your mantle next to your spouse, Joseph. You approach me and offer him to me. Mother, thank you. I am not worthy, but I know that he has come for me to free me from the darkness and slavery of sin. Thank you, divine light. If you enjoyed this guided meditation, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And now, after this brief guided meditation, we will continue with a theological commentary on the passage LK 2.20-4. The passage from Luke is a foundational narrative in the New Testament that recounts the presentation of Jesus in the temple and the encounter with Simeon and Anna. This event reveals profound theological layers that highlight the unique identity of Jesus and his role in the redemption of the people. The narrative begins with the obedience of Mary and Joseph to the Jewish law in presenting Jesus in the temple 40 days after his birth. This act reflects the respect of the Holy Family for religious traditions and norms, emphasizing their connection to the faith and history of Israel. The figure of Simeon is essential in this passage as he is revealed by the Holy Spirit that he will not die before seeing the Messiah. When Mary and Joseph bring the infant Jesus to the temple, Simeon takes the child in his arms and utters the beautiful Nunc Dimittis, expressing his peace at having seen God's salvation in the form of Jesus. This moment underscores the importance of divine promises and God's faithfulness throughout history. Simeon's prophecy also reveals that Jesus will be a light to enlighten all nations and a glory for Israel. Here, Luke presents Jesus as the universal Savior, not only for the Jewish people but for all humanity. The inclusion of nations in Jesus' redemptive work is a recurring theme in Luke's Gospel, highlighting Christ's universal mission. The figure of Anna, an elderly prophetess, is also significant. Her worship and gratitude to God 
when she sees the child emphasize the importance of expectation and persistent prayer in the spiritual life. Anna represents the faithful community, awaiting the arrival of the Messiah, and recognizes Jesus as the divine response to those hopes. In summary, the passage of Luke 2 20 40 is rich in theological content. It presents Jesus as the fulfillment of divine promises, the light for all nations, and the answer to the expectations of Israel. Obedience to the law, the action of the Holy Spirit, fulfilled prophecy, and the worship of devout figures underscore the importance of this moment in the revelation of the identity and mission of Jesus Christ. Thank you.